Hey guys, Jacob Scott, Lawrence product expert. What we're going to do today is show you how to wirelessly download updates to your HDS Gen 3 unit. Okay, so now that I've established a wireless connection, you can see it's automatically checked for an update and asked me if I want to download it. So from here, you can either say yes, no, or never. The important thing to remember is when you're doing a download over the wireless network, you need to have a card in your unit for that software to be downloaded too. So I'm going to go ahead and select no here so I can show you another way to access this. We're going to close out of this. Okay, so now we're back on our mapping chart. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and hit pages again. And if you hit settings, and then you go down and select about. First, you can see on the side over here, it's automatically highlighted that there is a software update available. The other place that you can find it is if you select support you can tell it that you wanted to check the system for updates. So we'll go ahead and select it right here. Now it's going to ask me, do I want to update my software? I'm going to say download it. So now that I've hit download, it's downloading that software to my SD card that I have in my unit. If you want to check your downloads and see how long, you're, how long it's taking for your download to progress, Simply going to hit Pages, go to Files, and you can see right down here on the bottom it says Transfers. If you look in here, it shows you that it's downloading the software. Now, if you're downloading an Insight Genesis map or you're downloading software to the unit, this section is going to show you how that download is progressing. Okay, so now that our software is downloaded completely, it's going to ask us, do we want to restart it now and update, or do we want to save it till later? So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and say restart now. So the unit's restarting, and when it restarts, it's going to look at that card, it's going to see that update, and it's going to start updating this unit. So now as you can see, it's starting to update this unit. We're going to let it complete this. Okay, so now that this unit has updated and it's come up, it's going to ask you, do you want to delete the old update transfer file from the SD card? What we're going to do is say yes to this, because what that does is that takes the, the data off of that card so you have that free space on your card. Now if you have more units to update, Go ahead and say no and then you can take that card to those other units or you can just log in wirelessly and download the update to those units and do it like we just did this one.